we're going to turn the camera this way, uh, who want uh, cooling, water-based cooling. Um, really cheap, little quick, easy setup I've got going on here. Uh, this came uh, from Amazon. You can see I glued some magnets at the bottom. And it'll come with this hose, and it'll come with a spot for air too. But I'm not using air. There you go. Okay. And it just sticks here on the back of my deal. And <clears throat> what I did is I didn't, I didn't, I'm out of outlets over here, and I didn't want a bunch of uh, more cables and stuff. So. I ran the wire, or the wire, the tube, uh, over here, and I spliced it in, and this is nothing but some heat shrink tubing, okay, and it goes into the chemical style spray bottle, and you just give it a few pumps, and that pressure will last for a surprisingly long time and it's not enough for the uh, nozzle to mist but it does uh, continuously do drops and I would probably need a free hand here to show you I'm not sure if there's any pressure in it right now uh, it's been a couple days since I've used it but we can try and there's just a little dial here and we'll you open it up and yeah so you can sit there and have it drip on your material as you're cutting and because this is magnetic you can also put it and set it up on your compound that way it'll travel with the work uh, as you go so that is my poor man's cooling system for my mini lathe uh, Maybe you've got, I think the chemical sprayer on Amazon was maybe 30 bucks, and this bad boy here was like another 20, 30 bucks. So I maybe got 60 bucks. Uh, you get yourself a gallon of cooling coolant, and you mix it with water, and it'll last you quite some time. Uh, that's another 30, 40 bucks. And long story short, you now have a drip cooling system for your little mini lathe. So. Thanks for tuning in, guys.